Welcome to the Asian Academy Creative Awards for 2023. Now, we got a bit of a theme going on this year. We're actually celebrating the great achievements from the 1920s. The roaring 1920s. The technology is not something that hinders us. It's the thing that actually makes us fight harder and actually the most authentic thing that we can do is represent our own stories and tell them in a way that's true to us. And we are here to present the award for best short form content. Best single news story or report. Best documentary program. And the winner is... Who is it? <laughs> Singapore. <laughs> Japan. Best direction for nonfiction. Taiwan! <laughs> Myanmar military government with makeshift weapons. Rico has earned our Philippines! <laughs> to God. Be the glory. Thank you so much. On behalf of Ivan, uh, and that really was a terrific report. So thank you. 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 Thank Singapore versus Japan slugfest. The Asian Academy advised the winning margin was less than a quarter point. The winner of best promo or trailer is... Japan, rebooting. Singapore. Miss of Midnight, beware of the monsters. Japan. Singapore, Kim Wan Lee, Mr. Brown. This is my first trophy since I was 16. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Thanks to you all for supporting this film. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, and I wish everybody the best as well. Editors are the unsung heroes of our industry, and congratulations to Johan Baha Nene Bongkok Tiga from Malaysia. Malaysia's Johan Baha passed away on the very day he completed this winning episode of Nene Bongkok Tiga. Johan Baha. He's passed away a year ago. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I bring his widow, Noraini, to bring this, this award back to Malaysia, which is his first ever award since he joined the industry. On behalf of my late husband, thank you. Thank you so much. To all viewers, I'm deeply touched by that standing ovation. And I think we should all give a big hand to everyone behind the scene for Asia Academy Creative Awards as well.